pro debut fight here on the star and what a way to to make your pro debut on television in new york marvin anderson making his debut at 34 years of age and that's been a trend in boxing all over the place and a representative of the bronx but does he feel 34 years of age is too late to start his pro career he told us this well i'm coming to prove that age ain't nothing but a number you know and i come to show that um i'm i'm, I'm one of the best i was in jail for two years and now i'm a changed man and um i come to um, start up where i left off at and been many years all right steve you pronounce this out of yonkers new york is this what a fella well, what a fella was a horse i bet on a yonkers this is wally fella it looks like <laughs> it's, it certainly looks like a uh, trotter wally fella wally fella is it pronounced wally although it's spelled w-a-l-l-e -L -L -E. well we'll see but uh, how, do, how do Wally and Marvin match up on paper? Well, both making their pro debut. Wally at 28 is actually six years younger than Marvin Anderson. That's a, that's a hard one. He originally hails out of Costa Rica, residing now in Yonkers. Anderson, as we mentioned, is from the Bronx. About a four pound weight advantage for Fala tonight. Big height advantage. Fala's six foot one to Anderson's five nine, and he's got a four inch reach advantage. Should certainly be able to use that to his benefit in this scheduled four-rounder of light heavyweights. And we're going to get the official introductions, though, on these pugilists from the magnificent Mark Biro. Ladies and gentlemen, Joe DeGuardia Star Boxing presents four rounds in the cruiserweight division. Your referee is the sensational Steve Smoger. Introducing in the red corner to my left, Wearing the silver trunks with the black trim, he weighs in at 179 and a quarter pounds and boxes out of the Bronx. Here is Marvin Stick and Move Anderson. Anderson. His opponent in the blue corner wearing the all black trunks and weighing in at 183 pounds. He hails from Costa Rica, but boxes out of Stamford, Connecticut, making his professional debut, Waye Faya. Faya, four rounds, cruiserweight. Thank you, sir. Gentlemen, you received your instructions at the weigh-in. I want you to obey my commands at all times. Respect the bell, and above all, protect yourself at all times. Touch up. Touch up. God bless. All right, well, uh, Mark obviously taking the uh, ethnic pronunciation, but he wants to be called Wally Fala. And that's the uh, kind of a strange uh, Costa Rican name. It doesn't sound Hispanic. It sounds almost Samoan or. Uh, well, or um, Mi what's it, Mayan? Would that be the Mayan Indians down there? Or Inca? Inca's a Peru. Rica. No, so I guess, well. Because he has that look. He doesn't look typically Spanish. Oh, nice right hand as Marvin comes out very strong. We're sitting here talking about Wally Fella, and he wanted to give us something to talk about. Southpaw stance. And I'm sure that Fella had no idea he was fighting the lefty tonight. He found <laughs> out when the bell rang, to Steve. Find out, Alan. In your pro debut. Big height advantage and reach advantage. But he may not be able to use it because the jab may yeah. be meaningless here tonight. If he can't drop that right hand lead in, they're going to need to really correct him. So I'm trying to take a look at the faces of his corner men. And they seem a little bit perplexed right now. Like, what did you do to us? Oh, big left round. He's hurt. He's trying to hold on to that other hand. He's like frozen on the left, on the right hand. Marvin Anderson. Put your hand and the referee correct in not breaking them. When the fighter has one hand free, you let them fight. Fowler looks shaky. Very shaky, taking a pummeling in there. Go punch, go punch. Step. From the shorter Marvin Anderson and, and the, the 34 year old Marvin Anderson coming out in a southpaw stance as we got 
Less than halfway to go here in the first round. Oh, and he drops a foul, dropping a big right over the top, and what a turn of events here in the first round. Anderson backed up against the ropes right now. Steve Smoker moving in, taking another one of those Smoker close looks. Anderson doesn't know to hold. Just keeping his gloves up. The Fowler only knew to hold one arm. Right. Anderson not holding any here in a very action-packed pro debut fight for both fighters. Anderson in silver and black foul up. And back in oh, it's going to be over. Marvin Anderson's about ready to drop, Steve. Well, Fowler has to do the right thing. Take, take what uh, 40 Anderson seconds kills kills left here in this first round. Gonna be a tough round of score if it goes, if, it, if both fighters are on their feet at the end of it. Also, first half of the round belonging to Marvin Anderson. Wally Fallock coming back very strong here in the second half. And I think Marvin Anderson's on queer street. Fatigue will be a factor because they're loading up on every shot, both guys. Well, they're gonna survive the first round of their pro debut. I hate to see round two. The crowd going wild here right now. I don't know if that's a Costa Rican flag or not. But we take a look at the beginning of the round. Marvin Anderson came out, and you would think it was going to be all Marvin Anderson. And coming out in that southpaw style, Steve seemed to have Fowler perplexed at first. That right hook really was the shot. And these are forearms as much as their punches. <laughs> hey, whatever it takes. Now watch Fowler, Steve, turn this round away. Turn this round a round. Arnie was trying to say, <laughs> midway through. All of a sudden, I believe it was a right over the top that really stung Anderson. The left hook didn't really look like it landed, but clearly it did because it left Anderson wobbly. And, and followed by a couple of rights. But here we are in round two. Don't blink if the first round was any indication. We're going to have a continued slugfest here. Marvin Anderson. I can't say he was picking up where round one left off. He was picking up where halfway through round one left off. As he comes out very fast here. Seems to have his legs and his arms back under him. There's that right over the top again by Fowler and a nice body attack as well, Steve. Bombs away. Anderson can't seem to keep that momentum that he shows the first 30 seconds of the round. Maybe he's coming out too hard. But I thought Fowler clearly won the first round. Seems to be on his way to winning the second round, too. Anderson's going to have to land a big left hand. That's his chance. Neither fighter can spell jab. <laughs> there hasn't been a jab in this fight. Long punches. If either guy could time the other guy properly and have the balance to deliver a good punch, that could be it. Now is starting to telegraph his shots, though, Steve. Anderson slipping his shots nicely now. If this goes into the fourth, both fighters dead tired. Oh, yeah. Anderson having a second win here. Not a bad idea. breathing very heavy through his mouth right now. That mouth's wide open. Not a bad idea, Arn, for Anderson to stay inside. He's shorter, and and Fowler's punches are real long, so why not? Well, one hand, it negates the reach advantage of Fowler, but it takes away the southpaw advantage, though, for Anderson. That's a slip. Good comeback this round by Anderson. Looks like he was out of it 30 seconds in. Under 30 seconds to go. Pace slow 
slowing down considerably now. Steve, the third round could be a wrestling match. You won't see either one of these guys on his toes, that's for sure. Anderson bringing some fans with that Channel Marvin in the background. It appears, though, that he's evened up this fight, assuming that he lost that first round, which I...